Hello everyone, my name is Piotr Konieczny and today on behalf of myself and my co-author Włodzimierz Lewoniewski I will tell you a bit about measuring Americanization which is um, so by comparing the amount of content related to United States in different language versions of Wikipedia and the popularity of those pages uh, we can measure the degree of Americanization worldwide and uh, Again, this is um, what uh, I think uh, our, uh, let's say, big contribution is the quant uh, to quantify those previously assumed but never really confirmed hypotheses. Now, uh, in, uh, part of uh, what gave us a lot of trouble at the beginning was deciding how to measure this. Again, people tend to think a lot about Wikipedia and it has a wonderful category structure, but the category structure is actually not ideal. It has some uh, problems. Uh, this structure is uh, complex and uh, for various reasons that are described in our big paper and uh, that not really we, we don't have the time to go over here, we decided to uh, go with Wikidata where the data is much more structured, free of many errors, uh, um, like human error generally speaking that uh, plug, uh, plug, you, uh, plug Wikipedia. So uh, Wikipedia, uh, Wikidata contains statements that can be used to, to determine after some cleanup whether a particular object, that generally means an article for us, uh, from different languages of Wikipedia uh, is connected to a particular culture, country or language. Now there are many issues uh, that we had to deal with that includes among other things uh, issues such as some, la some countries don't have an associated language, for example India, a very big populous country, is, there's no Indian language, right? And on the other hand English Wikipedia is actually used by United States, United Kingdom, Ireland uh, and many other countries. Same for the Spanish Portuguese, Arabic Wikipedia. So there are certainly a number of issues and we devote quite a lot of discussion in our big paper to the limi associated limitations. Uh, but uh, let's move on uh, to the more fun issues. Uh, we used the, the 90 million Wikidata items or so. We used some previous research and theories developed by Mikkel Ribe and Laniado as well as some of my own uh, discussions and developments based on so-called Ingelhardt's World Cell Cultural Clusters model. You may be familiar with it, it sometimes even in the, it makes it to the newspapers and so on. It's the one where there are the two dimensions, uh, two axes X, Y and um, various countries are mapped and there are cultural clusters like the English speaking and uh, Orthodox and uh, Islamic countries and so on and so on. Uh, now, uh, in our research we developed several uh, parameters such as uh, how many people uh, in a given country are actually reading that Wikipedia. That's an issue because uh, for example, in small countries, uh, many people go and read another Wikipedia uh, rather than, for example, if you look at the countries such as Estonia or Norway. A lot of people there speak English. They are actually stars of their small countries. Many people will, instead of developing their own language, Wikipedia will just go to the English one. So this is, a, this is one of those issues we had to deal with. We also looked at things like how many people in that country are looking at uh, that Wikipedia. And then uh, also, um, we looked at how many articles uh, related to the United States there are and how, how many views of those articles there are. Because just looking at the article number would not be everything. For example, uh, let's say uh, Swedish Wikipedia had a bot running that translated like a gigantic number of articles about villages. Uh, that doesn't mean people really care about those tiny villages around the world, including Americans ones. So the point is, let's say the Swedish Wikipedia will have a higher percentage of possibly articles related to American villages than others, but it doesn't mean again that Swedish people care about those American villages more than somebody in people in other countries. So we try to control for this. And I will park here on our pretty much final slide with some, uh, uh, with uh, some, um, uh, some content that uh, I think you will find uh, uh, interesting. What we see here uh, is uh, a bubble chart uh, our, uh, this, uh, and the table. Uh, the table uh, has uh, displays uh, with data, um, the statistics I mentioned, about the biggest uh, pretty much Wikipedia languages. Um, our full table would be like um, something like 60 entries, uh, wouldn't be very visible, so we just uh, I displayed things here related to the most popular languages. And as for the bubble chart, well, the uh, x-axis is uh, the United States uh, related Wikipedia article share. And uh, the y-axis are the views uh, uh, that are related uh, to, the, uh, to that uh, share. Um, and uh, the size of the bubbles uh, talks about uh, 
uh, talks about uh, another uh, parameter. Uh, this is uh, the number of uh, articles uh, in that Wikipedia language. So, but look at the big Wikipedias are, have big bubbles, small Wikipedias have uh, small bubbles. So uh, this is basically what uh, we are uh, looking at here. Um, now, we can observe that the big blue languages uh, have a higher value of the US RAS, in other words, uh, are the uh, parameter uh, we uh, call again here uh, United States related articles, so just to remind people what we are talking about. Um, and uh, often those uh, Wikipedias uh, are uh, again, bigger. Well, that's uh, the reason why they are bigger is a bit outside our research. It's again related to digital divide, uh, to some socioeconomic factors, but also cultural. I mean, this is a fascinating topic that I am really running out of time, I think, to discuss. Uh, but uh, um, what uh, we can uh, conclude? Uh, we can uh, conclude uh, here that there is indeed this correlation that uh, Western culture, uh, roughly defined, Western uh, countries ha have somewhat more in, uh, more of an interest um, in um, American topics. Of course, the English Wikipedia, as you can see, is the biggest one, and that is the obvious common sense test. For example, obviously, Americans, for example, read in, in generally in English, and they are the ones who are most interested in American topics. So this is like the common sense test. If we are checking, let's say, for you know, Estonian uh, coverage of Estonian topics, uh, then Estonians would be probably the most interested in this. Uh, but again, you can see also that what are some of the other languages where people are very interested in those topics. So Italy, for example, Spain, Portugal, France, right? Those, uh, again, this, uh, then uh, Germany, Russia a bit less, but still. Um, so again, we can see uh, things that uh, generally align themselves as, with the view that Western cultures uh, are more interested a bit uh, than uh, non-Westerns. For example, uh, let's say uh, the Vietnamese Wikipedia is not as interested in American topics as, uh, or the Thai, Japanese as, again, Spanish or Italian. Um, so this is uh, something uh, that uh, I think is quite uh, interesting here. And again, you can say, but everybody knew that uh, this is the case. Well, people suspected, but we would, uh, one of uh, the big things we want to show is that now we can use the wiki data. Uh, we can use the data uh, from the collective intelligence of Wikipedia to actually prove those uh, things that people suspected about the world. And uh, well, this is, I think, is quite interesting. We can now measure how popular European, Chinese, uh, or you know, things related uh, to <laughs> biology are across uh, different dimensions, and uh, Wikipedia allows us to do so. All right. I